Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. Um, I am gonna jump right to Sunday. Uh, we, I don't have anything to tell you about the next few days, but Sunday, things are happening. Um, we will be having our um, regular Sunday morning worship service uh, 10 a.m. and it'll be our first service in the month uh, while we're talking about mystery. Mystery is our theme for December. And we'll be um, talking about what it's like to live with the mystery that is life and, um, and being human. Um, there are a lot of mysteries in our world, uh, a lot of uncertainty, and uh, we're going to talk about how, how, do we, how do we live with that? How do we cope with that? Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it is a children's chapel Sunday, so our kiddos will start in the chapel um, or down in the owl classroom for our kindergarten through second graders. Um, and they'll be working, the kids in the chapel will be working on the solstice service that is coming up in just a couple of weeks, um, a few weeks uh, on December 17th. So they'll be working on that. After the service, uh, it is the first Sunday of the month, so I will be leading a coffee conversation. That's a time to dig deeper um, into the topic that we talked about at the service. Um, so it'll be uh, just a facilitated conversation about, um, about mystery and living with mystery. Uh, it'll be 11, at 11.30 um, and we'll be up in the youth room. And then uh, in the fellowship room for the next three weeks, so this Sunday, next Sunday, and the 17th, so the 3rd, 10th, and 17th of December, we are going to be having a book fair. Um, and it is books from our Unitarian Universalist Association's two um, publishing companies, Beacon Press and Skinner House, as well as some UU swag. Um, so feel free to come by during fellowship hour any of those three Sundays and check out the book fair, um, maybe do some holiday shopping, uh, maybe find some fun stuff for yourself. Um, we would love to, uh, love to have you and there will be a, a portion of the proceeds from everything we sell uh, will go to support the congregation. Um, so that's Sunday. That's what's happening this Sunday. Next Monday, December 4th, our Welcoming Congregation Working Group is meeting. Um, we And we are looking for new folks to join that group. So we would love to have you if you're interested in joining. That group um, works on our... Our work for LGBTQ plus inclusion in our congregation um, and our work for LGBTQ plus equality out in the world. Um, and we would love to have you be a part of it. It's at 7.30 on Zoom. I'll put the Zoom link in the comments. Um, and uh, we usually meet for about an hour on Zoom. We do have a bunch of holiday stuff coming up. Watch your mailboxes. Um, later this week, uh, I think they'll be going out today or tomorrow, um, we've got a holiday postcard in the mail to you that has all the details of what's going on. Um, but the first thing is December 16th, we are having a carol sing uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. It will be up in, uh, it'll be over in the dining room. Um, and we are going to have carol sing and hot cocoa, um, hot cocoa and tea. So, um, so we'll, we'll be cozy with warm beverages, we'll be cozy with singing, uh, and we hope that you will join us. It's gonna, we'll start at four o'clock, give, give folks 15 minutes or so to make yourself a warm drink and settle in and start singing by 4.15 and everything will wrap up by 5.30. Um, so I hope you'll join us. It is, uh, it'll be a kid-friendly event. People of all ages are welcome. All ages and singing ability, of course, are welcome. Um, and we're just hoping to have fun together and do some singing. Um, we do have a couple things happening for the winter solstice. Um, first is going to be our kids are doing a service on December 17th on that morning. It'll be a solstice story service, um, and it includes a badger. So you definitely want to come and find out what a badger has to do with the solstice. Um, and then uh, Aaron, our ministerial intern, is leading a service um, on the evening of the solstice on the 21st, which is a Thursday at 6 p.m. up in our auditorium. It'll be a comp contemplative solstice service, and um, she would love to have you. 
And of course, we've got Christmas Eve. Um, for Christmas Eve, it is on a Sunday, which is unusual, but uh, happens every so often. We will not be having a morning 10 a.m. service. We will be having two Christmas Eve services instead at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. The 5 o'clock is going to be our family service. Um, the se- and it will be in person only. And the 7 p.m. will be our modern take on lessons and carols. And that'll be both in person and online. Um, and uh, we are looking for folks to help uh, do fellowship hour and greeting. Uh, we usually do a fellowship time in between the two services. Um, so I'll put a link in the comments where you can sign up to help out with that. Um, and we also invite you to be a part of the Christmas Eve choir. Uh, it is a pickup choir. You don't have to be part of the regular choir to be part of the Christmas Eve choir. Um, you do need to know how to read, um, but that's the only the only requirement, really. Um, they'll be singing two songs at both services, the five and the seven, but even if you can only come to one service, you're welcome to sing at the choir just at five or just at 7 p.m. or at both. Uh, they will be rehearsing after church on the 10th, December 10th, and December 17th. Um, So after church, December 10th and December 17th, the Christmas choir is rehearsing, and uh, they would love to have you sing with them. Um, And that's it. That's what I've got for today. Um, I hope y'all had um, a good holiday weekend and got some time to yourself or with family or whatever you needed. And I uh, hope that I will see you on Sunday.